Hello and welcome to the van vlog. It is an absolutely stunning winter's day. The sun is out, the sky is blue, the grass is green. It is a little chilly, it's about six degrees Celsius. I believe there was a frost overnight as well, but there can be no finer day, I think, than doing those tests on the van heater that I mentioned a couple of vlogs ago, specifically whether the new air ducting from Propex will make the heater quieter when it's running. And also, I want to run the temperature gauge on the exhaust pipe as it winds its way out of the van and just see, out of curiosity, how hot it is at various points along its length. So let's get on with it. First things first, in order to fire up the heater, I need to take off my insect deterrent. I have read many a tale of how these heaters are scuppered by insects crawling up the exhaust pipe and the air inlet pipe. And apparently if you get a dead spider in the heater unit, you have to take the entire heater apart. So when the van is not being used, I just put some gaffer tape over the end to stop spiders crawling up it. Having done that with both the exhaust and the air inlet, I can now switch the power onto the heater. Now it's all working, it should give a little whir just as it starts itself going. That's not actually setting it running, that's simply applying power to it and when you do that it does this initial suck to check I think that it can actually draw air in and if everything is alright you can then switch it on at the thermostat and it will run. Let's do that. It would probably help if I'd turned the gas supply on at the bottle. A couple of minutes have gone by, the heater pushes out cold for a couple of minutes and then it turns its little burner on and so in a second it should start chucking out hot air. I've got a little app on my phone that measures noise levels so we'll get that out and see how, it's not too bad, but we'll see how noisy it is in here. Right, the heater is running and pushing out some hot air out of that vent, the little black square in the corner and I've got the noise level meter running on my phone which is just here on my knee and obviously it's picking up me talking at the moment, so I'll just shut up and we'll see what it reads. Around 59 dB then with the standard Propex ducting, and I'll come back to that in a bit when I've switched it for the new stuff, which is this black, slightly furry stuff. But before I do that, I want to use this, the temperature thing, on the exhaust pipe. You can't really see the exhaust pipe very well, but there's a bit of red there on a bit of pipe that looks like chain mail. That is the exhaust coming out the bottom of the heater. And then it disappears down over there, so I need to point the temperature thing at that. The heater's only been on for two minutes and it is sweltering in here already. Let's see how hot that exhaust is. Well, it's saying about 50 degrees Celsius as it's coming out the bottom of the unit. I don't think it's up to temperature yet. But actually, I can touch it with my hands, so it's clearly not. I mean, I'm expecting it to get hotter than that. I'll give it a few more minutes. It's giving me 110 Celsius at the bottom of the heater unit. No, I lie, 126. That is pointing the temperature gauge right up at the bottom of the heater unit where the exhaust comes out. Yeah, quite consistently, 127. 135. It's going up, 139. 141. All right, that's pretty hot. I'll see what it's like down the length of the pipe. Just where the pipe is exiting the van, where it goes out through the holes in the bottom, it's saying it's about 55 Celsius. Right, it's been running for a good five minutes now. Should definitely be up to temperature because it's really warm in here. We're still reading around 140 just as it comes out the bottom of the heater. 
goes down to about 90, 80 degrees quite quickly actually as you go down a couple of inches down the pipe. And then as it exits the van it's now about 62. Right, let's check outside. Even allowing for inaccuracies in this thing and variances in where I pointed it, and I know people told me when I suggested I was going to do this that what I'm actually pointing at will make a difference as to how reflective it is and stuff like that. It seemed to be fairly consistent that the temperature coming out the bottom of the unit is about 140 Celsius. It fairly quickly dies off actually down to about 90, 80 as it goes along the pipe, 60 as it goes down the bottom out of the van and then from the underside, yep, 60-ish as it comes down and very quickly once it's outside the temperature outside is taking off some of that heat as well and by the time it got right to the tip of the exhaust it's only 30 Celsius. So basically the stretch coming out the bottom of the van first few inches 60 to 50 degrees. Bearing in mind of course I've got two layers of insulating wrap on that. I've got the um, exhaust pipe wrap stuff that I put on that's made out of um, I don't know what it's made out of, but um, I showed that in a previous video. Some sort of insulating stuff. And then there's the red insulating stuff I bought from Propex as well. So, I don't quite know what to make of those figures, other than, obviously, the hottest bit is about 140 degrees. And um, there's nothing combustible, well, too combustible around that. There is the wood of the van. But even that, by and large, is a, a reasonable distance away. You can put your hand next to the thing, and you can't really feel that it's hot. It's only if you actually touch it that you feel the, the proper 140 degrees. So I think I'm just going to go away and digest those figures. However, what I do need to do is now switch the heater off and put this other ducting on and then do the noise measurement on that. I've turned the heater off. It's in its wind-down cycle now. As you can see, the ducting is just held on with a Jubilee clip at either end, so a screwdriver will have that off in a jiffy. One heater pipe. Why doesn't that want to go on? We have a small problem here, which to be fair, Propex do advise on their website, in that this stuff doesn't go round corners as well. It just kinks, it doesn't bend very well. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's just, it's got a square kind of kink in it there instead of a gentle bend which of course is going to affect the flow of the air. I probably just have to get a much longer bit of pipe that I can put gentler bends into, but then I haven't really got a lot of space under here for running a lot of extra pipe. I think this is going to have to do for the experiment, for the sound test, but I'll probably have to put the old stuff back on until I come up with a better way of routing this. You see, this stuff is a slightly springy design and you can really bend it tight. I'm wondering whether I take the feed off the heater with a bit of this and make it go round the corner like that. Cut that here and then connect this pipe to that pipe so there'd be a little bit of noisy pipe followed by the quieter pipe. That might have to be a further experiment. For the moment however I have just switched the heater on it is blowing at the moment cold air, but it'll turn its heating element on in a second, and then I will re-measure the noise level. I'm now sitting where I was before, and the noise meter is reading me speaking, so I'll just shut up and we'll see what it's reading. Well, I think we can safely say that works. That's 9 dB quieter than it was before. It doesn't actually sound that much inside the van, but can't argue with the facts. And that brings to an end this mini vlog. We have proved that this ducting stuff, the new ducting from Propex, does actually work, reduces the sound by 9 dB, but we have also shown that they are quite right. It does not go round corners very well because it compresses and squidges the airflow which you do not want so it may not be appropriate for whatever your particular application is you'd have to kind of work out if you've got enough space to 
let this take a path without just squishing. I'm going to have to work on some engineering, I think, to join a little bit of the old ducting to the new, and hopefully that will suffice. In the meantime, I've put the old ducting back on. Right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.